Hey guys, Nick here. Just doing a review today of Logitech ClearChat PC wireless headset. This headset retails for $100 and I would first of all like to thank Logitech for shipping this out to me. And secondly, the title says PC wireless headset. It actually works for Mac. I'm really not quite sure what PC is even doing in the title for the simple fact that that leads Mac users to believe it's not going to work for them. Well, this definitely does work with Macs. I've been testing out with the iMac for about the past three weeks and I've been fairly impressed with it. Now, the microphone quality on these is not the best, but I'll actually touch more on that in the actual review. But I will just start off by saying for $100, I definitely feel that these are a little bit overpriced for the microphone quality. For audio listening quality, I would definitely put, buy these for right around $40, $50, where you can actually find this being the holiday season. But let's go ahead and jump on up into the review where I'll be touching on some of the features, the sound quality, mic quality, and really some things I'd like to see improved. So let's go ahead and get this review started, guys. On the right ear here, you will notice that there is a plus and minus sign. That is to control the volume on your computer. There, you can also mute yourself just by t a touch. And also on the right side, you will find the on-off switch and the proprietary charging plug. Now, it is a proprietary plug, so that's one thing that kind of knocked this down for me just for the fact that if you lose it, you're going back to Logitech. It's probably going to take a few days shipping. It's just not something you can go out and easily replace. So... That's one thing I always knock down is proprietary plugs just for the fact that they aren't as functional as normal plugs. But on the left side, all you have is the microphone. And the microphone, it does have a giveaway about three-fourths of the way down where you'll feel a little bit of resistance. And past that resistance is when the microphone is actually active if you have not hit the mute button. The one thing I really like about that is if you just want to use these as a pair of listening headphones, you can do that without worrying about if the microphone is on or not. Now once it gets past that point, you will also notice a red LED indicator light if the mute is active. I really like that feature just for the fact that that way you can tell if it's muted, you're not second guessing if you muted, muted the headset or not, it's just there for you to see. Okay, so if you wanted to pick these up just as a wireless pair of headphones with a built-in microphone, for $40, $50 I would still definitely recommend these just for the fact that it's wireless so it's really functional and the sound out of the box is not that great it's pretty flat pretty dull after a little bit of EQing though these sound really good uh, the, if you're using iTunes the best EQ I've actually found was the electronic and I tested out with just a few things just a few genres pop cl classic rock rock classical and throughout the spectrum it's they sounded really good they really did amaze me now the bass is not really thumping, it's not really hard hitting, but the presence is definitely there. You definitely do notice it where if you're listening to something like Bon Jovi, for example, which is pretty much what I test any classic rock with, these still have a really nice bass presence. The treble could be a little clearer. It doesn't have a nice crystal quality to it. It is a little murky. It's not fantastic. But other than that, these are really nice for just listening. Guys, so we've touched on features, we've touched on the sound quality. Now I'd like to touch on the microphone quality. I did a, a pre-post of this a few days ago comparing it with a few other devices and if you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out because I'm not going to go that far into the microphone quality just because I've already touched on that in that video. But I, for $100, I would definitely not recommend these if you're looking for high quality microphone for the simple fact that it's not that good. It sounds distant, it sounds dull, it doesn't sound clear, and I would pretty much mark up the microphone on this as a fail. The, I think the issue with this is actually the fact that it has the background noise cancellation, and it goes overboard. It pretty much cancels out most of your voice as well, and really cuts you down to a very low decibel where you have to pretty much amplify this full blast just to get audio quality out of it. But Overall, guys, there are a few things I would also like to see changed, microphone being the main one. I cannot recommend a $100 headset without a good microphone. Secondly, I would like to see battery life improved. This has about a four-hour battery life, and after that, you're, you're pretty much dead. So if you're doing an overseas trip and you're on the plane and using these with your MacBook, MacBook Pro, four, four hours into that flight, you're going to be without music, you're going to be without sound, and I just cannot recommend these also for that reason. Next thing I'd like to see improved is I would like to see the rails on the side extended just a little bit, even if it's half an inch on both sides. Reason being, I have a pretty decent size head, and they just fit me. 
And when I say just, I mean these rails are fully extended and they just cover my ears. So anyone with a bigger head than me is going to have issues with these fitting. Last thing I would like to see fixed is I would like to see the microphone be able to go on both the left side, which is where it sits now, and also the right side. So whether it swivels front to back and they just make this so it's a universal design where it can actually fit on both ears because currently there's actually a little bit of a slope so like this there's a little v-shape coming off of my ear where there's a sap the air can get in there so whether it's I, I don't know how they would do that but I really like to see this be both left and right ear mounted if possible just for the fact that I personally work at a call center I'm used to having that microphone on my right side so this really throws me for a loop whenever I throw these on but overall guys these are really comfortable they sound good after a little bit of EQing for $40 to $50 I would recommend these I cannot recommend them at the $100 price range for the simple fact that the, the, it's a headset without a good microphone but guys this is Nick and I will catch you later